Hello, welcome back. I have a little extra video here just to show you part of the project I've been working on. So you can see, I've actually got a working 3D model mocked up in SolidWorks for all of the components as I've been disassembling them. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it and I'm not gonna go into detail on how to model all the parts, just showing that I do have a lot of these parts, and as you can see, some of this is actually functioning that we go into here. And let's put this around the other way. If we go into here, you can actually see that the components have screws modeled into them. And I've actually had it set up so that the motion of these components inside the models matches properly with all the thread dimensions for all of the components. And that way I can actually have things move realistically inside of this model. But yeah, I've got a lot of the parts. And if you look over here, you can see that there's a bunch of uh, numbered names. The actual, the actual uh, manual that I got for this specifies that for all of the part names, the name, I mean, the number for the part is the page number in the manual, and then a specific just number on that page for it. And I have that one's actually. <laughs> I actually uh, have that one named wrong, but. Uh... But yeah, they uh so each each separate part has its own. Yeah, I can't seem to do that. But anyway, so the each part has its own name number. Uh if you look on like for this part, for example, I didn't actually model this part. This is a generic part just pulled off of McMaster car, but it fits the exact specifications for the part that I have on the lathe. So you actually see I've gone ahead and included the McMaster part in the part name. So all of the parts that I have that have an applicable McMaster part car part will have that. And just really quickly change the name on that. But yeah, so if you look in here, I actually have all of the components back out of that there's some of those parts all modeled out but yeah all of the components here on the left in each of the assemblies so i'm working right now on the apron since i just got all of those parts pulled apart out and i've got for example the dial let's remove this I've got the chasing dial here for threading I've got all of the components for that including modeled in the uh, the display plate on there with the correct typeface so if i need to replace that which i think this one is one that i will need i have all the parts there so i can actually get that made easily enough then i have over here some more like here's the compound assembly with all of its components and the carriage with all of its components in you can see that the carriage actually has a lot of subcomponents as well. But yeah, I just figured I wanted to show that I'm. This is part of also why I'm taking a long time getting everything restored because I would like to have fully accurate 3D models for all of the components as I take it off. Then, if anything isn't working right, I can get that specific component take it out and make a new one or without having to take it out I can make a new one just from the model that I already have I also have I don't actually have all these taper components taper attachment components especially these two but I've I've seen a lot of images of them I've looked up a lot of the functions for how it should work and I've gotten the uh the base design for these components put together 
That way, I should be able to actually use what uh, all the designs that I have here to create from scratch the parts that I need to replace. Luckily, it is just these two, two components. I have all of these other part, these top pieces, and this piece. I have the main casting that attaches to the back, as you see seen earlier in the series. I do need to have this piece cut out, but that should be really cheap to have somebody just cut out of steel on a plasma cutter, and then I can finish it up manually to make sure all the holes and everything are clean. But yeah, that's what I've been working on, and thank you for watching, and I'll have uh, another disassembly progress video up soon. Bye.